Hey everyone, this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com and thank you for joining me today for Video Game News. It is December 22nd, 2021 and this is the top story of the day. Yes, I said this is the top story of the day and not these are the top stories of the day because today I'm here to talk to you about exclusively how the Nintendo Switch is on the verge of hitting 100 million units worldwide sold as of right now in December and this is exciting news. The reason why I decided to make this post, which you see over here, is because yesterday I came across some interesting information, and that is that Nintendo Switch has, in the month of December alone, from December 1st through the 19th, already sold over 2 million consoles. Now, this is some exclusive information that Paul Gale Network has, but I'm going to add it to what we do know that is publicly available, and throw a little bit of speculation on what we don't know, and show you the figure that I have. We know that Nintendo Switch has sold through 92.87 million consoles worldwide per their fiscal results for the quarter of June 1st through September 30th. As of September 30th, the system is at 92.87 million. We received information from Nintendo in the United States for October with 711,000 consoles sold. 1.13 million consoles sold in November, still in the United States. Between October and November in Japan, courtesy of Famitsu's numbers, we have approximately 940,000. I say approximately because weeks kind of carry over, plus or minus a little bit into different months, but still, 900,000 low end in Japan for those two months. If you add those two up, taking the 940,000 and that 1.13 million and that 711,000, before you count any European market, Australia, China, the rest of North America, South America, Africa, etc., you're at 2.78 million for those two months. When you add that to the 92.87 million, we're at 95.65. Now we know Nintendo Switch didn't sell nothing. That would be factually incorrect. It did sell, and it did sell very well in Europe, in Australia, and other markets in the last two months. Just how well, though, that's kind of where it comes down to throwing in what you know, analyzing based off of how Nintendo Switch has done in past quarters, information that we are being told out of Europe, etc. And I came up with a fairly sound estimate of 1.3 million between October and November in Europe and the rest of the markets combined, not including United States and Japan. You take that 1.3 million and you add it to our 95.65, and now you're at 96.95. Now you could say part of that is speculation, but it is sound analysis that went into coming up with that 1.3. And if anything, I would say that that 1.3 is a little bit on the low side to be safe. Now, the exclusive information that I received yesterday is 2 million, but over 2 million for the first 19 days of the month. You take 2 million and you add it to that 96.95, and Nintendo Switch is at least, according to my calculations, at 98.95 million as of December 19th. Mind-blowing. Now, you have to realize a couple of things here. One, over 2 million is what it did so far in the first 19 days. So that right away, you would say, well, 50,000 more, and it would be at 99 million, which let's say it definitely is more than 50,000 more because um, 50,000 more isn't much more than 2 million as saying more than 2 million in my number. So 99 is just about a given. And that 1.3 from Europe and the rest of the markets is also on the lower end. So it could be 1.5 for the two months, but I don't want to get into too much speculation. I'm already speculating that, you know, over 2 million could indicate 2 million 50,000. And I don't want to say, oh, it could be 2.5 million. I just know over two, okay? But if you take that 1.3, you take that two, you add it to what we do know publicly, we're at 98.95. And we know that Nintendo Switch has... 24 million planned for the year. They've already sold 8.28 million of that 24 million. That leaves 15.72 million to be sold between October 1st 
and March 31st, assuming that all 24 million that they pump out get sold, get purchased. I'm going to go with 4 million approximately being saved for the first quarter of next year, which is Nintendo's quarter four report for the year ending 2021. Why 4 million saved? Because last year during that time frame of January 1st through March 31st, Nintendo had 3.1 million sold. That's how much they had ready and available and how much sold. Why I'm giving 4 million this time around is because Pokemon Legends Arceus comes out in January, so Nintendo may want to have some more stock. If they leave 4 million for January through March of next year, that leaves them with several million left for what's left of this year, of that October 1st through December 31st time frame. That's enough that the console will absolutely sell through 100 million this fall, this holiday season. It's going to happen very possibly this week. If you took that 92.87 million as of September 30th and you added 11.72, remember that 11.72 is because they have 15.72 left. We take four away, we give it to January through March, 11.72 left. If you add that and it sells that much and that's how they split it, you're at 104.59 million by the end of this year. This whole time I was saying Nintendo Switch high end, probably 104.5 million by December 31st, 2021, heading into New Year. But I said, okay, what if they reserved more stock for that January through March period? What if they decided to give that chunk of time uh, several more than 4 million? Or not several more, but a couple of more. Maybe they gave it you know, 6 million or something like that. Even in that scenario, you have another several million Nintendo Switch consoles that are going to sell this holiday season. At this point, if we're at 99 million or 99.1 million or something like that, Japan alone, we're going to see Famitsu's sales charts over the next few weeks, they're going to sell roughly 200, 400, 600,000. They're going to sell 200,000 more, more or less, per week for the next three weeks. That's already bringing you up to 99.7, assuming we're at 99.1. You really think that 300,000 units aren't going to sell in that time frame of December 20th through December 31st in the United States? It's going to do a couple of million. It's going to do a couple of million more in the rest of the world. Truly low end, honestly. 100 million isn't even a possibility. It's going to be something like 102.2 million, 102.4 low end, and that is if they give a greater stock to have a bigger quarter for, which is the first quarter of the actual year in 2022. So, folks, I'm excited to say that, like, as of today, uh, this is the 22nd of December. This information that I received was already three days ago, as of the 19th. That means that in these last three days, Nintendo could have sold through those last precious few hundred thousand more units and reached 100 million. If I were Nintendo, I would be proud. I would have a fantastic announcement to share on all social media platforms of congratulations. Nintendo Switch sold through 100 million consoles worldwide faster than any home console in history. It took Game Boy 134 months to reach 100 million. PlayStation 1 took 114 months. We took 80 months. PlayStation 2 took 69 months. PlayStation 4 took 67 months. The Nintendo DS took 52 months. Assuming that Nintendo Switch reaches 100 million this month, it will be 58 months, an all-time video game home console record for home consoles. And if you want to include anything ever, it only is second place to the Nintendo DS, which did it, you know, in 52 months. Now, I did have a slightly more accurate version of this chart previously, where I did my best to approximate the 0.5s and stuff like that. So 
if a system was, you know, something 0.5, I called it that instead of this, which you see here. Here is just everything rounded up. It makes it nicer, easier, uh, still pretty accurate, but like, you know, Nintendo Switch technically, it won't turn 58 months old until January 3rd, depending on when in the month of December it hits 100 million, which it will, it'll be at 57 point something, you know what I'm saying? But we're just gonna call it 58 because that's what we did with everything else we rounded up. It's fantastic news. Um, like I said, a little bit of speculation on that Europe slash other world figure coming up to 1.3 million for those two months could be higher. Hearing internally that over 2 million in December so far could be at least 2 million 50,000, but could be 2.2 million. So since I'm playing it safer on these numbers, we're probably a little bit higher than where we are right now. And that means that really any day Nintendo will have it done. I don't know if they'll publicly announce it or if we won't find out until January or until uh, later in the year, like February 3rd, well, not that much later, but later in the year compared to January, that, okay, this is how much we sold through through the last quarter, through year to date, Nintendo Switch is 100 million, da da da. Hopefully they don't wait that long till that February 3rd announcement. Hopefully they don't, they don't also wait until January because they have the numbers, they know it, tell us when it hits 100, we know it's going to hit 102, maybe 104 by the end of the year. You heard it here first. This is an exciting time, and I just wanted to say congratulations to Nintendo. It's a bit premature to say congratulations on hitting 100 million without getting that official number from them, but it's any day now. Before Christmas, before New Year's, it's going to happen, and I am proud. Some people don't understand, like, why are you so happy for a system reaching a goal, hitting 100 million, right? I'm not going to make money off of it. Nintendo is. But if you could understand rooting for your favorite athlete or your favorite team, getting that trophy, getting that championship, achieving that stat, him or her, the team, whatever the case may be, do you get anything out of it? No, but you're happy. That's your vested interest. So this is my happiness. Nintendo is a company I love. Nintendo is my favorite brand, my favorite video game system creator, game creator, many personal friends I've had made over the 20 plus years of being in the video game industry. So I'm happy for Nintendo reaching this number in record breaking pace. But not only that, it actually does affect me in a way because a more successful Nintendo, more people in that ecosystem means more development cost into games, better future hardware, better future software output, more bold moves, greater likelihood, greater chances of older games, older franchises being pulled up because the risk factor gets minimized by certain titles making so much that they could go ahead and say, all right, these smaller franchises, let's give them a shot. If they don't make, you know, tremendous amount of money, that's okay because we're not losing. We're so ahead. So yeah, it does actually affect me in a real way beyond just my mind being happy for them because I love Nintendo. But that's it for today. This was an exciting thing because I had something exclusive to bring to the table. A little bit of hypothesizing others, publicly known facts, but combined, you got something awesome here, something that's going to be a part of history. All right, this is Paul Gale Network signing out. Hope you all had a good time watching and I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye.